Hey guys, it's Rob Seabuck with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. In today's video, we'll be covering all the updates from Notful that we have received since June 2023 up to January 2024. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human welcome back if you're interested in learning how these features work we have covered them in our free noteful course on paperless humans our second channel they scattered throughout the course as we were still creating the course when some of them were released but the latest one is available on the latest episode which is covered a few days before this video The first major update came in July 2023. Noteful added page background to page templates. They can be any color you like, and the app has a decent collection of presets. Custom colors are easy to add and use. You can even rearrange these colors to make the ones you use more often readily available. The app also lets you choose the line color for your templates, which can also be any color you want. We love that the colors are centralized, making it easy to apply the changes to all the native templates in the app at once. Trying to adjust each template would simply be too much work. We thought layers were enough for active recall, but the developers at Notful want us to have all the options. In August 2023, we got the tape in Notful, which continued receiving more updates in the months that followed. The tape in the app can be straight, a rectangular shape or freely drawn. It comes in five fixed sizes and several colors. It works like tape does. Cover parts of your notes that you want to learn. And you can tap to reveal or hide them. The app also has the option to reveal all the tape on your page. Or cover all of it. We love that because it will save you time you'd waste toggling each tape. The only missing feature is the ability to erase only the tape without accidentally erasing our notes. With a bit of care, you can erase just the tape alone which works for now, but it's still a workaround, so it would be better if the app simply supported that. The most requested feature for Noteful came in November 2023, stickers. The app gave us very few templates for stickers, but creating collections and adding our own stickers to them is quite easy. The app lets you add photos from the Photos Library or the Files app when creating stickers. You can then name your collection. We also got the ability to group items on the page. which was a precursor to the ability to save and create custom stickers, which is a feature we now have in the app. 
And that pretty much completes the stickers app where not only can you import them, you can also create your own, which is all you need for stickers. Not for also supports the messages stickers that you get when using the text tool. Those are my personal favorite. I have never got the other types of stickers, so we really love that the app has both. Though in Noteful, your stickers lose their animations if they're animated. The coolest update in Noteful came in January 2024, which was page cropping and resizing. This is one of the most sought after features for PDF reading that we never thought we would find in a handwriting note taking app. Noteful can add writing space around your PDF for more annotations. The space can be on all sides surrounding the page. It's not infinite, but it's large enough if you need extra room to write on a page that already has some notes or information you're reading. The developers have really thought this through because we can apply these changes to a single page, several pages, a range of pages, or to all the pages in your notebook or in your PDF. So you can add the space whenever you need it. You can also crop pages when they have parts you don't want. The page size options we get in the app act as presets for cropping pages. Personally, I don't see page cropping as a useful feature for my workflow, but I still appreciate the option. Let us know if you've ever wanted to crop pages off a PDF before and how you'd use this feature. We're really curious to know. We also received several minor updates during the same period that are worth mentioning. We now have a ruler tool in the app. Rulers are helpful for measuring and drawing scaled items. We're curious to know if these digital rulers are actually useful in the classroom. Students and teachers do tell. We can now arrange the items on the page in relation to each other. We can either move them to the back or to the front of other items on the page. It has made my scrapbooking fun in Noteful, so definitely love this feature. We can also stretch and shrink our images. That's another feature I don't get. Why would I want to use distorted images in my notes? Let us know if you use this feature or if it's part of your workflow. Curious to know how you guys are using these features. Another minor update is that we can now rearrange our favorite pen tools on the toolbar. We're happy about that because the old way was cumbersome and tiring for digital note taking. Last but not least, we can now add notebooks to our current notebook when we import them from other apps. Noteful adds them to the next page, which is convenient, and you won't need any extra steps to move the pages exactly where you want them. We recently did a tutorial for the most recent update in the app, and we will have a link to it in the description down below. Which of these updates do you like most? Do tell. We hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.